Kreitz here at Tim Kreitz Adventures with an actual adventure today. Cliff is with me, he's back there. And we're looking for dinosaur tracks today. Somebody told us that there are dinosaur tracks out in this weird little area that I don't think either one of us have ever been to before. So let's check it out, stick around. Okay, so we're on Highway 67, see it right there, Highway 67 southbound in Upton County, Texas. We're not in a town, we're sort of between a couple of small towns, and I have been told that there's a rest area out here, I'm not exactly sure where going to be on my left side and beyond that rest area is a trail that leads out to dinosaur tracks so you gotta look for this rest area and that's where we will pull over and investigate okay this has got to be it I do believe this is it. Is it locked? <laughs> Somebody's been getting in there. No. Um, the only thing I was able to find is obviously w what is apparent. Like it was some sort of a three-toed dinosaur and a smaller dinosaur at that. But I never could figure out what they thought the name of the dinosaur was or its species, etc. It's a fossil prison. Tell you what I love about this time of year, it's fall, but at the same time stuff is blooming because we got all that rain. We get our fall rains and everything blooms out again right before it all dies for winter. It's like spring and fall combined. Mm-hmm. This is the perfect place, I would assume, for this type of fossil because look at all this rock, man. We are literally on a rock shelf right here. What was that you were saying about lunch? <laughs> I am too. How about McKamey? Let's go back to McKamey and see what we can find. McKamey, Texas. Been here a few times in previous episodes. Gonna try to find ourselves some place to have lunch. I had no breakfast. I just had coffee this morning. I wasn't hungry, but I'm hungry now.
Thank you. tell you guys just when I think I've found everything I find something new <laughs> and those dinosaur tracks is a perfect example this is a great place to be able to ride and explore it's one of the main reasons I always wanted my channel to blow up not to get rich off of it but just to be able to make enough money to where I could get paid to explore and find all this cool stuff ride on a sunny day to be able to get paid to do that oh that would be so great it's all good. Man, look at these. <laughs> look at these wind turbines, man. They're destroyed. Out of, coming right out of my camera, did you notice that sign for the Sammy Long Memorial Highway? Uh-huh. Do you know the story behind that? No. Sammy Long was a DPS trooper that back in the 80s, I think, he, he made a traffic stop on that highway. Mm -hmm. And the guy that he stopped murdered him, shot him, and killed him on the highway. Uh-huh. And a, a, a deer hunter stopped his truck and got out and shot and that. killed that guy I, re I remember that story now he's about 100 yards away from the scene yeah the, his rifle out the hunter arrived just a little bit too late to help the trooper yeah. yeah but the hunter killed the guy who murdered the trooper yeah i remember that now sammy long was the trooper's name yeah and so now that's the just last year i read an article where they were trying to raise money to get the legislature to to make that a memorial highway for that trooper. So I guess they did because they got the sign up. Well, that's cool. Dude gave his life. Never know. I mean, that that's the that's the reality of being a trooper out in a place like this is that yeah. there's no such thing as a routine traffic stop. You never know what might happen when you pull somebody over out here. That's another reason everybody needs to carry a gun. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> that's why we be strapped. <laughs> Well, I'd love to stay out here all day, but duty calls. We've got some things we need to do. I know Cliff probably does, and I certainly have a few things I've got to do before the sun goes down. So it's time to make the 100-mile ride home. In the meantime, you guys take care of yourselves and take care of one another. We'll see you next time. Bye.